All right, so hi everyone. So as you can probably tell from uh, behind me that I'm not in my uh, usual environment. Uh, I'm not in the observatory and I'm not in the house at home. I'm actually uh, back uh, in Qatar. And uh, during my uh, off time uh, at work here, uh, I thought I'd just take a, a quick moment to uh, share some updates of what else has been going on. So as you can see uh, on the screen here, uh, you may remember if you've seen the videos that back in March uh, I released this uh, video which introduced the piece of software I'd written for the Unihedron uh, Sky Quality Meter and uh, this is a piece of software that allows me to uh, share my USB connected uh, SQM meter uh, to multiple uh, imaging rigs so it acts as a proxy server uh, for the USB and uh, can share the data uh, that comes in off the USB device across to two different imaging laptops and uh, in my instance I use it with uh, Nina uh, but it also works with uh, APT and uh, the software also allows me to trend uh, the sky quality and the device temperature and things like that. So I posted that uh, video, uh, I'll put a link to it up in the, in the corner there and I published the software for everybody to use over on uh, GitHub. And uh, since I did the first release, I've actually done two updates to the software, um, as you can see from the, the GitHub uh, release page. Uh, so the last update I did uh, was uh, uh, two weeks ago, almost three weeks ago, uh, where I fixed a couple of issues, uh, made some improvements. So uh, I did some updates to how the trends were drawing and also how the the trends were updating. So there's a couple of enhancements there to the software and uh, made those uh, releases public as well. So the last time I was home, I uh, decided, well, I'm also a member of Code Project. So for those who don't know, Code Project is a community for software development and uh, people can go and ask questions about how to do things and how to fix their software or or get ideas and things like that. And uh, a large number of the community, of which the, at the moment there's over 15 million uh, members on it. And uh, I've been a member uh, since, so let me just see here on my profile. Yeah, I've been a member now for almost uh, 19 years uh, on this website. And uh, during that time, I've published uh, a number of articles uh, for various topics uh, on the site. And it just allows me to uh, obviously share share my experiences and uh, also helps to promote writing practices and things like that. So anyway, I took the uh, or I took the decision uh, that I would write about the, the software that I'd written, written the uh, SQM software. And uh, I wrote an article on uh, the code project, uh, which basically outlines, you know, what the purpose of the software was for, how I developed it, the coding practices I used inside, the structure of the application, uh, etc. Uh, and obviously goes through some of the key uh, code areas. Uh, and of course, all the codes available, uh, I've released it in the public domain uh, on uh, GitHub. Uh, so MD's free to, uh, you know, download that code base and modify it as they see fit or suggest and push uh, improvements uh, up, to, up to me uh, should you want to. Um, but I wrote about that article and uh, published it as I'd not published anything on the Codebread project for, for a number of years. I thought, well, it's time to do something. So uh, I wrote about the, the piece of software and published that onto the, the website, uh, made the article public and basically forgot all about it. So then two nights ago, I'd gone into my uh, email and I noticed a uh, Part, uh, I noticed an email coming in from Sean, uh, one of the team at Code Project, congratulating me on uh, having won the monthly article competition, which uh, came as a bit of a pleasant surprise, uh, as I didn't even know the article had made it into the, the shortcut uh, for the submissions for the article contest. So every month, uh, Code Project, uh, they pull some articles uh, that seem to be uh, showing, uh, you know, interests or different topics and things like that. And uh, they nominate those articles forward to the community. And then the community votes on uh, what they think the best articles are, etc. So I was very pleased to see that uh, 
Uh, this article had actually won the first prize for the May article submissions. So that was absolutely delighted to see, considering I didn't even know it was in the running. So I just thought I'd share you uh, another place where I spend some of my time and uh, on the code project there. And uh, I'll put a link to the article uh, just out of uh, interest if anybody wants to have a look at it. And uh, of course, there's plenty of other articles if anybody's into software development and things like that, that they, they want to poke around the site and it covers all different uh, subjects. And uh, on my profile on the, the site, uh, you can see all the various articles that I've written uh, over the years, various things from the Arduinos to Raspberry Pis, uh, to hardware bills, hardware fixes, and uh, a few other various articles uh, that I've done over the years. So you can find all that uh, in the links in the description uh, below. So really that's all I wanted to share, just a little bit of upside, uh, update on what I've been up to. And uh, obviously I'm at work for the next few weeks, so uh, I, I can't uh, be doing any imaging and things like that. So I just continue to look forward to, to all the community there, posting all your videos on YouTube of what you've been imaging and your tutorials and all these sorts of stuff. And uh, if your MB is hanging around, uh, I do tend to lurk about on the Astro Biscuit Discord, uh, whether it's in the general chat or uh, on the voice channels, uh, on the Speakeasy or the Star Party Live. Uh, you can always drop in by there, and if I'm a hanger around, I just use the same tag on there, uh, Dave's Astro Photography, and uh, we'll maybe catch a chat sometime. So that's really all I wanted to say. I wish everybody clear skies. I know a lot of people are still having endless cloud sessions. But uh, that's just the nature of uh, astrophotography. So until the next one, thanks for watching and we'll see you uh, in the future.